Hi there, welcome everyone. We are just gonna give a few minutes while everyone gets connected, turns on their videos. Um, we wanna, we'll wait to get started until we have everybody here. Thank you so much for being here though. Welcome, welcome. I love seeing everybody's name pop up at the screen. We've got gangs all here. Yes, and just a reminder before we get started, everyone is muted right now, but if you need to say anything, we've got the chat option open at the bottom. So please feel free to chime in there. It's so nice to see you all. We'll get started in just a minute. Oh yes, very important reminder in the chat. Be sure you have your drink ready if you wanna give a toast at the very end. That's what we're all here for. I agree, Grace. This really it couldn't be better weather, aside from the Atlanta pollen. It's pretty nice. All right, just a few more seconds and we will get started so that everyone can get back to enjoying their Sunday, back to the masters, back to children or dogs, whatever it is. I know we're, we're all eager. All right, awesome. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get us kicked off formally. It is so nice to see you all today. I am Brittany McCall, Chair of Chris 180's Emerging Leaders Network. We're so glad you could join us just to learn a little bit more about the incredible work Chris 180 is doing to support youth experiencing homelessness and to celebrate the winners of this year's tournament. At the end of the program, as a reminder, we'll be raising a glass and a toast, so make sure you have your drink ready. You can always count on me to come prepared in that department, but we will be keeping our mics muted. So again, if you need to say anything, you wanna send a special message, please do so in the chat. Every year, ELN, a group of community focused professionals has come together to organize what we call the final round during Master's Sunday for Chris 180. This year was a little different, but our goal remains the same, to call on our community to have fun for a great cause to support young people who need, need help from Chris 180 as they transition out of homelessness. I can remember our very first event four years ago at Cross Creek and imagining all of the cool places we might host future events. Bobby Jones Golf Course, Top Golf, or maybe the roof of Pont City Market. Um, my, my living room was certainly never on that list of dream venues, but here we are and I'm perfectly okay with that. Because at the end of the day, all that really matters is that four years later, we are still making an impact. I am just amazed by how this group has rallied together this year to come together virtually and come up with a completely new game plan. Thank you to our mighty ELN members, to our incredible sponsors, 
and to all of the supporters who have come together to participate in this event. You'll see a few names pop up in the chat shortly, so be sure you just show them some love. And to, uh, to kick things off, I am delighted to introduce you to Kathy Colbinson, President and CEO of Chris 180, to just share a little bit more about the organization's 40 years of service and how our support is directly making that impact. Thanks so much, Brittany. I am just really honored to be joining you today at the final day. And I wanna give a special shout out and a special thanks to you and to Casey Donnelly as co-chairs of this event and to each participant who raised money to help youth who are experiencing homelessness. I want you to know that the money you've raised not only makes a significant impact now, but it can be the turning point the critical turning point in someone's life. And that's something that as we all think back on our lives, we know that they're critical time periods that are make all the difference. And this can be one of the help that you provide through your fundraising can be one of those points for kids. Um, Chris 180's mission is to heal children, strengthen families and build community. We were basically created by the Junior League of Atlanta to fill a gap in services. And that's what led us to working with youth who are experiencing homelessness. Youth were aging out of foster care without resources. There were homeless LGBT youth in the community and youth who were rejected for any number of reasons from their family or left their homes because of domestic violence. So there's a, a lot of reasons that youth experience homelessness. Um, we also have uh, far too many young parents who are homeless with their, their babies and toddlers. So it is um, a real problem and has to be addressed if we're gonna help uplift our communities and our society. Um, youth who are homeless experience a significant amount of trauma not to mention the traumas they experiences, experience, which led to their homelessness. And it's hard to heal if you don't have a safe place. You've got to have safe housing and you've got to have support to help you um, heal. And the pandemic, unfortunately, has given all of us a taste of what it's like to experience trauma because we have all experienced trauma as we have, been, have lived through these last 12 months, actually. Um, and the impact of the pandemic trauma is what's called collective or shared trauma. And just add that on top of the trauma that these youth have had um, that predated the pandemic. So it just is like a layer cake of bad things that you need help to recover from. So Chris 180 is a broad organization. We work with youth in foster care. We work with homeless youth. And we offer, most importantly, behavioral health counseling. We have seven counseling locations. And so anyone can come to us, whether you're insured or uninsured, to get help healing from the stresses and the um, impact of trauma. So that's what these kids get when they get connected to us in addition to the safe housing that you're helping so importantly to provide. So I just wanna say thank you again. Um, there are well over 4,000 homeless uh, youth experiencing homelessness. And in our community, that's a great large undercount because we know that there's been a, over a 40% increase in need for housing assistance during the pandemic. So I just want to say thank you again to the final round and to the final round supporters and to each one of you who've made such a tremendous difference through your hard work and your gifts. So thank you. Great. Kathy, we so appreciate you sharing that and um, for being here with us today. All right, we are proud to really, you know, continue changing the direction of lives. And as a reminder, as Kathy just said, all of the funds that we've raised for the final round will go directly towards those Chris 180 programs um, for youth experiencing homelessness. So next, I am delighted to introduce D'Amico Bell, who is the clinical director at Chris 180 Counseling Center Atlanta and director of two of our programs that support youth experiencing homelessness. 
So he'll just be sharing a little bit more about the difference that your support makes. Thank you, D'Amico. Thanks for having me and it's a pleasure to be here on today. As the director of the Drop-In Center and our permanent supportive housing program, which is located at Summit Trail, our goal is to equip our young adults with the tools needed to face today's challenges. The Drop-In Center serves young adults that are experiencing homelessness by providing case management, job readiness, educational assistance, and parenting classes. And that's just to name a few of the great things that are going on at the center. Also at the center, we conduct daily housing assessments to assist our young adults in obtaining stable housing. And there's one thing that I can't forget. We also have a music studio in which a lot of our young adults love to utilize. In addition, we provide outreach in the community for those that are experiencing homelessness inviting them to our program and also providing the necessary transportation to the center. Our permanent supportive housing program, again, which is located at Summit Trail, we provide safe and stable housing for our young adults. However, since the housing is permanent, they are more than welcome to stay for as long as they like. This program is geared towards independence with our life coaches providing the necessary skills needed, which places each and every young adult in the best position to be successful. We share several successes within this program as much as our adults are either employed or they're in some sort of educational program. It is definitely a pleasure to work with such a resilient group of young adults who face the unimaginable challenges. I'd like to share a brief story to illustrate just some of the resiliency of a particularly young lady that we serve. This person, she's experienced significant trauma as a child, family discord and mental health challenges. She came to our program directly from a psychiatric residential treatment facility where she had been there for quite some time. Since being in our program, she has become stable on her medications and also to note, she attends college at Atlanta Tech and she maintains employment at a local Atlanta restaurant. She has also remained free of psychiatric admissions during her entire stay with us. And this is why your support is so important. Thank you all for making a difference in the lives of our young adults. Thank you. Wow, D'Amico, thank you for sharing that and thank you for being here to share that inspiring story. It's a great reminder of why we give and what makes this event important. My name is Emily Douglas and I'm a longtime member of Chris 180's Emerging Leaders Network. We are so excited to share that we've already raised $28,520 to support our programs for youth experiencing homelessness, but we can make an even bigger impact. If you haven't already, please consider making a donation to the final round today so that we can support more young adults without a home. You can make a gift at www.chris180.org slash toast. There's also a direct link to our the final round donation page in the chat. Did you know that $25 provides snacks and hygiene kits to youth experiencing homelessness? $50 will provide a night of housing and $100 provides a teen transitioning out of homelessness with a new coat, gloves, hat, and scarf. Every gift matters and you can continue to give until noon tomorrow, Monday, April 12th. I'll pause for a moment for those of you who are making a gift now. Hey, Emily. This is Carol and Donnelly. I just wanted to, to jump in um, and say how much I appreciate uh, what you guys are doing. 
Um, so for those who don't know me, I am a member of Chris 180's Advisory Council, uh, and I actually am a founding member of ELN that we put together with some other board members about seven years ago. Um, I'm also a managing director with CIBC Private Wealth, and we are so proud uh, to continue supporting the final round. We've continuously supported with sponsorship uh, since it was founded, and um, wow, what a tremendous cause. Um, I, I just wanted to shout out there that, you know, some people may wonder, why is ELN so important? Um, why are these contributions that you're being asked for, those of you who are members and are participating, why does it matter that you support Chris 180? And I'll tell you that from the day we put this group together, the thing that really we felt so strongly about is that the youth that Kathy uh, has been talking about that this team supports every day uh, here in our community, they need to know that young professionals in Atlanta support them and that, that we are stepping up to help Chris 180 provide them with the resources that they need. So uh, just know that what you're doing is so important and sends such a, such a strong message. And it's just a great way to get involved um, now and grow with Chris 180, just as I have over the past number of years, continuing to stay involved. And, and today, I just, Emily, one reason I wanted to jump in there is that I would love to match your contributions that you're giving tonight and through tomorrow um, up to $2,500. Uh, I've been so pleased to be a longtime supporter now of Chris 180, and I so believe in giving to this cause um, and just hope that you'll join with me in continuing uh, this drive. So, Emily, I'll turn it back to you. Thanks. Thank you so much, Carolyn. That is fantastic news. Uh, so thrilled and so grateful for your contribution. Your match is going to make such an impact and it means that all gifts up to $2,500 tomorrow, um, made through tomorrow at chris180.org slash toast or to the final round peer-to-peer -peer fundraising pages. Again, by noon tomorrow, Monday, April 12th, we'll have twice the impact. So thank you so much again. And everyone, please show your appreciation for Carolyn's generosity in the chat. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> thank you. And thank you to everyone who has been so thoughtful and generous, those who have fundraised on their own pages and those who have donated, we're so thankful for you. This year's the final round tournament was a little different. Instead of gathering together to watch the masters in person, we offered opportunities for supporters to participate safely over the course of two weeks by golfing, walking, running, participating on social media and fundraising. Participants could go it alone or in teams. There were a lot of chances to have fun and every activity completed earned points for our virtual tournament. Now Aquila Hamilton, our ELN social media and marketing co-chair is going to announce our winners. Over to you Aquila. Well, thank you, Emily. And wow, thank you, Caroline. Like that is a great addition to everything that we're doing. So um, I'm so excited to share the final round tournament winners. Winners get receive what we all love, right? We love to brag. So they get bragging rights and first place winners get a wonderful prize. So first, our social media contest, as determined by our wonderful judges, our best golf outfit winner is none other than Amy Hayes and her adorable dog, Margo. <laughs> Your prize is an Onward Reserve Golf Day gift basket. What picture? Oh, hey, Amy. <laughs> um, <laughs> next up, our winner for the best the final round cocktail is the ye yellow jasmine from Yvonne Lipple, a riff on the classic jasmine cocktail. It features yellow chartreuse, chartreuse and lime. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that looks delicious. Congratulations, Yvonne. Your prize is a cocktail gift basket from Holman & Fitch Bottle Shop. Honorable mention to the Master Gardener cocktail from Kevin Mara. And now last but not least, our overall tournament winner. This team received one point for every dollar raised points for social media engagement and for, and for participating in the costume contest for a total of 3,835 points. That is amazing. <laughs> a winner is none other than Team McWally. So Andrew Walters and Brittany McCall. So we all know how awesome they all are. 
but wow, you went above and beyond. Your prize is to see the Atlanta United. You will we'll be reaching out to all winners about your prizes. We thank you all so much for participating in the final round this year. You are all winners to us because you made a difference for youth experiencing homelessness. Brittany, congratulations yet again, and back to you to lead our wonderful, wonderful <laughs> toast. <Oops. laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Aquila. If if, I never knew it, but apparently I am competitive. Um, and again, just thank you all for being part of, of this year's final round. To our incredible Chris 180 team, Morgan and Norma, who got us through it all, our sponsors, our participants, our ELN members and donors, you've made this possible. We have already raised $28,520, and I think that number is growing as we speak, for Chris 180, and it isn't too late to make a gift. We will be keeping everything open until noon tomorrow. Again, I think Jane is going to be dropping that link in the chat. So, here's to the final part, the cheers. For all that we have done together, for the fun that we've had, and the lives that are being changed, here's a toast to the final round. All right, don't make me toast alone. Let's turn on your cameras if you can, raise a glass. We are going to be taking a very quick screenshot, so look out for the post and be sure to tag yourself. Smile. <laughs> All right. Well, again, I know this is Sunday. We all want to get back out and enjoy this incredible weather. But thank you all again. Stay tuned on social media for news about upcoming opportunities that you can get involved. If you're not a member right now and you want to be, we will certainly, certainly send you more information. Um, so be sure to keep, stay tuned for the final, final round results. And um, if you have anything, any other questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to myself, the Chris 180 team. Um, our contact is eln at chris180.org, and we are going to put all of that information up on a slide in just a moment so you can take a screenshot. Once again, cheers and have a great rest of your day.